boy needs good neighbors with a little understanding. He's got a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife. That's a knife. Hello there, and welcome back to The Bunker, to the John Cedars channel from The Bunker indeed, after my return from Australia. Uh, hopefully many of you will have seen the live stream from the XJW event in Sydney, which was just phenomenal. I've not seen that many XJWs in one space before, and it was a really amazing experience, fantastic atmosphere. Uh, the whole point of going to Australia, apart from the event, was to do filming for The Truth About The Truth. And we were blown away with how much we managed to achieve. And not only did we manage to interview the legend, Paul Grundy, who was a main, who was instrumental in my waking up from Jehovah's Witnesses. We also managed to interview Justice Angus Stewart, who many of you will know from the Australian Royal Commission. Just an incredible experience being able to pick his brains for the truth about the truth. And I can tell you that he was actually awarded with a plaque at the event commemorating his services to the XJW movement. Apologies if I'm a bit breathless, by the way. It's quite hot here in Croatia, which is strange because I've returned from Australia where it's supposed to be hot, but it's actually the winter time, and here it's the summer time, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get air conditioning <laughs> in this bunker. But I hope you like my souvenirs from Australia. Uh, don't even ask me to explain what these are. Uh, yeah, just an amazing time. And just to pay tribute to those who made the trip possible, including those of you who have sponsored the Truth About the Truth documentary. I've put together the following montage of our experience in Australia. Uh, this is pretty much it now in terms of videos. There is just one more video I will be releasing on the channel, which is an interview with Kim Silvio, a remarkable woman. So please look out for that interview. But then it's back to business as usual, and I've got my work cut out with the convention rebuttals, as I'm sure you all know. But for now, I will sign off with this montage in tribute to a remarkable journey to Australia. Enjoy.
sea is setting in at this point in the trip. So we're here at Bombo Beach and I am I'm accompanied by some Australians that I have discovered along my travels. prediction do you think we will get thrown out or do you think we'll be able to do a full tour without anyone knowing who we are or why we're there i think unfortunately we will be flagged as soon as we get to reception as looking unusual i don't think personally we'll get through the whole tour mm -hmm. no. okay well it will be interesting to see whether that prediction comes to pass this picture here. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about the, the Great Tribulation. Right. Is that, and, is that something that's coming? That's right. right. That's what we are looking forward and after that we will have a, a beautiful new kingdom. It's destroyed. difficult to describe who's going to die. Oh, it is clear that. Oh, right. Yeah, but you will find as from the Bible. Right. Yes. This is all about becoming better, not bitter. We've come out with, as people with self-respect, dignity, worth and individuality. Write down all of your dreams and make them come true, one by one. It's crucial to your survival. Just being able to think for yourself and not have beliefs that are superimposed upon you and you can come to these conclusions on your own, you know, that's, that's priceless. The voices are uniting. Whether they're large and noisy or small and timid, and it definitely is, if you feel like me, creating an incredible movement. We are ex Jehovah's Witnesses. We are proud. We are strong. We have the real truth, and freedom is our paradise. Thank you. Thank you.